Okay, so in this problem we have these factorials and all we have to do is simplify them. So first let me recall the definition of factorial. So the factorial is defined as follows. So n factorial is equal to, so it's n, and then it's the one before it. So you always just subtract one. So n minus one, then you subtract one again. So n minus two, and you keep doing this forever all the way until you get to one. So I'll just go ahead and write three, two, one. And then we define zero factorial to be equal to one. Okay, so in this case, we have n plus two factorial. So if you think about n plus two factorial, n plus two factorial is, well, you always start with what you see. So it's n plus two. Then you subtract one. So subtracting one would give you n plus one. Then subtract one, so that will give you n. And then subtract one again, so n minus one, et cetera. And then you go to three, two, one. So you'll notice that this piece here, the n, n minus one, dot, 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 three, two, one, that's the same thing as n factorial, which you see up here. So in problems like this, what you typically do is you work them out like this. So you write down your n plus two factorial over n factorial. Then you know that's n plus two. Subtract one so you get n plus one. And the rest of it is n factorial over n factorial. These cancel. So you're left with n plus two and then n plus one. So that's typically how people go through the process. That's it.